why didn't you tell me that she was going to do all of that? Why weren't you there to fight with me? Whoa. Whoa. Fight with you, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> Bitch, I'm protecting my face. That's the only thing I'm doing because I'm not fighting no big ass Catra. What's good y'all, what's poppin'? Welcome to another video on my personal channel. Before we even get into this, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, smash every button you know that can help a sister out because YouTube be playing with my channels. Yes, channels with an S. We have multiple channels. Please make sure you go down in the description box to go subscribe to all of them today, okay? If you haven't listened to my single yet, please feel free to do so. I Needed Love is out on all streaming platforms. Also, if you love to change your wardrobe up but you can't stand having things take up your closet you don't have the space you don't have the time to keep up with all that clothes i got you i do have a new clothing rental subscription service make sure you guys head down to the link in the description and or the pinned comment so as you guys can tell by the title, we have another hood all day story time. I ain't gonna lie, doing these story times kind of make me realize um, why I really don't fuck with people no more. <laughs> and why I'm just like, I really don't tolerate bullshit. Um, and it, it makes me realize that like, you know how like some people have this ideology where it's like, oh, well, they were young, they're allowed to make mistakes. You know, people grow, not all people. Um, because there's some people that I make these story times about and then I, I reflect on them today as people like, oh man, maybe they're changed. Not all people, okay? Because there's some people that I make these story times about and then I reflect on them as people today versus who they were yesterday. Okay, not yesterday, but years ago. And I'm like, oh my God, it's been over 10, 15 years and you're still the same bitch. That's a prop, that's a lot, that's scary. Earth is ghetto, I'm not signing up for this experience if I get another opportunity. I'm going to Mars, Pluto, another dimension if possible, because Earth, I just can't. People are too fucking childish here. Okay, so today we're gonna be talking about how my friend got beat up for being a hoe and she got mad because I ain't get beat up with her. Yup. what am I gonna title this? I don't know, but true story, bro. <laughs> Y'all, I'm telling you, high school was a doozy. Uh, it really was. Um, so as I've said numerous times before, um, I went to Elizabeth High School. I went to Dwyer House. Um, Elizabeth has like a million different high schools. At this point, they probably have way more high schools than they did back when I went to high school. But um, Dwyer was essentially the main house. And then the back of the house was called Halsey House. And um, back when I was in school, I've spoken about this millions of times. There was a diaspora war. Haitian Americans did not get along with African Americans or black Americans whatsoever. We're constantly fighting. People have lost their lives. It's, it's really ridiculous. Thank God that's not a thing anymore. However, I have heard that some people have kind of tried to spark it back up, but that's not my damn business. I'm grown. I ain't got time for none of that shit. Okay. Um, so nonetheless, I always had lots of black American friends, um, white friends, Hispanic friends. I had friends all over to this day that I still maintain friendships with because I don't care who you are. If you're a good person, that's all that really matters. If you're a good friend to me, that's all that really matters. Okay. Regardless of what's going on, I really don't care about where you come from. And I will say that has always caused an issue for me. Um, especially in high school, a lot of people, especially because of what was going on with this diaspora war, did not like the fact that I had American friends. The Haitians didn't like it. The Americans didn't like it. Um, it, it was very weird to the point where there were Haitians that didn't even believe I was a Haitian person. Like they were like, oh, she can't be Haitian. She has all these American friends. No, bitch. When Futa is here, my will be in Jouet. It's to you, bitch. Try me, ho. I don't got time for that. So it, it, it was just, it was a nightmare. So this one girl, we're gonna have to give her a real fake name, like some, some shit that is, oof, chat. We're gonna call her Alexis. Okay, so Alexis was known as, damn, there's no way I can hide this. <laughs> so let me just say, if you come across this story and you know the story, you know the people, just shut the fuck up and mind your business. <laughs> like, just shut up. Don't say no names. I'm gonna have to block her name. 
maybe nobody's gonna remember. Anyways, so we're gonna call her Alexis. Now, Alexis actually went to middle school with um, a lot of friends that I had, um, but I was coming from Catholic school and then I went to public school for high school. So I knew a lot of people in Elizabeth because I used to be around everyone, but I didn't really know anyone like on an academic level until I got to high school. So there were still a lot of people that would come into the high schools, transfer into different academies that I didn't know. Cause like they would go from like say Hamilton house into Dwyer house or Edison house into Jefferson house. There's different houses. So since I didn't go to school, everyone like elementary and middle school I didn't know a lot of people coming into high school I just knew like a good core few enough to get my ass around so when it came to Alexis Alexis ended up transferring into do not quote me on it I would say my sophomore year and um she was really really cool like I really liked her but Alexis had a really bad reputation um People didn't like her because of her attitude and people said that she was extremely promiscuous. She was one of those people that was known to sleep around with people's boyfriends, known to cheat on boyfriends that she had, known to steal her own friends' boyfriends. It, it, it just wasn't great. And one thing about me, and I've always had this I guess, reputation. I, again, like I said, I'm going to be friends with everyone. But when it comes to me, a lot of my friends have been promiscuous, but I'm not promiscuous. So it's always interesting because I'm not going to lie. A lot of my closest friends that I've had in life have been a little loose. <laughs> like that sounds crazy. And I'm not. And, and the thing is, it's like, I'm a very judgmental person. Okay. And that's, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and be like, I'm not judgmental. Cause I feel like the people that are always screaming, don't judge me are people that have shit to hide and people that are always constantly doing stupid shit. Everybody's judgmental. If you see a crackhead begging for a dollar across the street, you're not going to cross the street because you don't want to give him that dollar. That's judgmental. Everybody has a little bit of judgmental in them. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. At least I'm honest with my shit. And the thing is when it comes to women or people who are promiscuous, I don't have a problem with you being promiscuous as long as you admit your shit. Don't be hoeing around, thotting around, doing all this shit, throwing in a circle and then trying to lie and try to play holier than now and then try to talk down to other people. That's the shit that makes me mad. That's the shit that will make me curse you out. That's the shit that will make me start clowning your ass on some real shit. So when it came to Alexis, she was just quiet about her shit. Alexis was quiet. She was not flamboyant about her thoughtness. She was not really out here like, oh, I did this, I did that. Like she was very quiet. Like to me, she never tried to take any of my men. She never talked about the men that she slept with, you know, whatever. While a lot of other friends that I've had that were promiscuous, they were just a little bit too, mm, like in terms of like, they would talk about the shit that they did. And I'd be like, nah, keep that shit away from me. I really don't need to know that you don't know your boyfriend, especially if you're going to introduce me to your boyfriend and expect me not to tell your boyfriend. Because when it comes to that, that's where I, I draw the moral ground. Um, as I've gotten older, I've realized how annoying it is to be with someone that's promiscuous all the time because a lot of them just don't have morals. I feel like there's a way to live your life and throw it in a circle or whatever and have morals behind it. And as, as at my big age, a lot of them just don't have morals. Like, there's no reason for you to be married and, and fucking around on people. Just get a divorce, bro. Like, at that point, it's ridiculous. But when we were younger, it was like, you know what? Live life, be free. It's the 70s, okay? It wasn't the 70s. It was the early 2000s. But you guys... Oh, mid-2000s. But you guys understand where I'm coming from, right? Like, at the time, like, I'm not about to judge you for being a teenager like it, it wasn't something that really bothered me now that i'm getting older it's it's becoming a thing where it's like nah if you out here cheating i can't I, i'm and if i am gonna be your friend and you're a cheater just don't fucking sit there and introduce me to your significant other and don't expect me to be hee hee ha ha about it and keeping your secrets and not telling you that you're a bad person for cheating because i've done it like there's friends that i have that have done shit and i'm like you're a bad person like i've, I've straight to the face like you're a bad person do you know you're not a good person for that do you know you're literally going to get yours for doing what you're doing so it just never works out because a lot of people don't like hearing that i'm not going to sugarcoat it i'm not going to try to make you feel better i don't care who cheated first i don't i don't give a fuck leave it's not that fucking difficult like I, i'm literally 29 now bro like we're, we're grown now 16 versus 29 is two completely different things okay so when it came to alexis she was a little bit more quiet with her shit she was cool people's i thought she was nice everybody hated her okay so when people found out that alexis was coming into the school oh my god God, it was warfare. Oh my God, I'm gonna make sure Sean is not in any of her classes. Oh my God, Jonathan, you better not look at her. Like, it was so bad. Like, everybody was on some, hide your kids, hide your nigga. Oh my God, like, 
Y'all already know, I was dealing with JJ at the time, but I also had, what the fuck did I name that man? If y'all, if y'all been watching for a while, I did a story time movie, okay, story time movie, on this dude that I messed with for a long time, it was like a situationship, um, that I had where the dude, I was messing with him my entire high school on and off, um, and eventually I told him to get off of me while we were having sex because I was like, sir... You ain't doing it for me no more because like I realized he was just bumming around like bro like you just want to stay in Elizabeth go to a county college and not do anything with your life and he's still a bum um thank god dodged a bullet there but I was just messing with him at the time so I ain't gonna hide him because one he's not my nigga and two you're not his type yes I was that type of <laughs> I mean I'm still that type of confident nigga that is not your type I ain't got shit to worry about so I I wasn't worried I didn't really care for her. She ended up being in one of my classes. I would walk with her to class so people didn't fuck with her because one thing about me, I don't do bullies. Y'all could not like the girl. Y'all could talk y'all shit about the girl. But what we're not gonna do is attack the girl and bully the girl just because she's a hoe. If she's a hoe, she's a hoe. Let her let her pop her pussy around. If she's not popping her pussy on yo nigga, then leave her alone. Like, this, <laughs> this sounds crazy. Um, But it's just like, it's just it, it gets a little old after a while. So to be honest, from what I understand, she kept her head pretty low but y'all already know from all the story times i've done i have my old shit going on one friend i was chasing around that was actually a hoe um that was trying to act like she wasn't a hoe trying to play holier than now we had to run an investigation if y'all ain't watched that i'm gonna try to remember to link that down below i had the whole situation with this situation shit i had the whole situation with my parents being homeless like i had sh i'm not about to babysit this bitch i just thought she was cool so now we got this other girl, right? We gonna have to name her something. You know what's funny? I actually found her the other day <laughs> on Facebook. Cause I was like, yo, how is this bitch doing? Is she alive? We're gonna name her Kendra. So Kendra um, was also a transfer. And um, she was a transfer because all she did was fight. Okay, that bitch was crazy. Um, and I ain't gonna lie. I, I was a fighter too, but I ain't gonna lie to you. Fighting Kendra would have been asking for a tweet to the ER. I was never scared of no bitch, but Kendra. So first of all, let me just say I'm 4'11". Kendra was big foot big. I'm not about to do that shit. I'm not about to, girl, I'm not even about to try it. Every time the girl got kicked out of a school, it was for fighting. Every time she got into an altercation with someone, it had to do with someone putting hands on it, I don't have time for it, okay? But luckily me and Kendra also really hit it off. Like we were really, really cool. When it came to Kendra being transferred to Dwyer, everybody was low-key terrified. It, it's funny. So everybody went from, oh my God, oh, we don't want that whole ass Alexis here to, oh my God, Kendra's coming. Oh my God, Kendra's coming. Oh my God, Kendra. Like, niggas was scared of Kendra. Kendra, but see, the thing is with Kendra, she was cool to me. But I will say that she was a little delusional. I'm not going to lie. I feel like there was a little mental illness there. I feel like she could have been bipolar. I'm bipolar. So I kind of see, now that I look back, I feel like she could have been just undiagnosed bipolar maybe she has some sort of anxiety because the girl she went zero to a million extremely quick and i also had that issue as well when i was undiagnosed um so i feel like she could have just had a lot of issues going on at home she could have been undiagnosed it could have been a lot like the girl was nuts like she was on some i'll knock you upside your head put you in the hospital and then dm you and ask you questions later yeah, she was that bad. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, she was already in three different academies. And then after that, she ended up in alternative school. Like, it was a lot. So by the time she had got there, you know, I think Alexis had been there for like a month or two. So I ended up having Kendra in another one of my classes. We were pretty cool. And again, people are not happy with me because I'm getting all of these American friends. And I'm just like, nigga, who cares? We are all niggas at the end of the day. And if we're being real here, I need more friends that are American so that I don't sit here fighting people every fucking day like I was freshman year. Okay, so if we're being real here, what's wrong with making friends that are actually cool? It's not like they're using me or I'm using them. They're not sitting here like, where are the Haitians at? Let me fuck them up. It was never like that. You know, like the boys were doing that all day. Like the boys would befriend me, just be like, where your Haitian friends at? Or where your American friends at? It was ridiculous. But with the girls, it was never really like that. But one thing about Kendra um, that was notable was she was friends with the bitches that jumped me one of the times. Mind you, I said one of the times. Um, um, I don't even remember which story time it is, but there was a story time where I talked about how these bitches jumped me and my friends watched. She was friends with those girls. And those girls, some of them, I remember I said got locked up. 
um, transferred, had babies, all of that. She was friends with all of them. And it's so funny because when I went to go look up Kendra, I saw that they were adding each other years ago. Like, oh, y'all better treat my friends right. And she 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 added all of them. And she was like, before I have to come back to Dwyer and be some ass. Like, bitch, y'all, oh my God. Like, it's weird because she was friends with the bitches that fought me. So it was like, I mean, you're cool. Fuck your friends though. Like, it, it, was, it was very weird. Um, so like when we, we became cool, you know, she knew about the situation and she was like, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Like they, they real fucked up for that shit. That's basically how we became cool. She was like, yo, what they did to you was fucked up, but you know, they only did that shit because you know, you dating JJ and also such and such was in their ear. Now I don't remember what I named this girl, but the short story long was that JJ was dating this other girl. Why did, what did I name her? I'm a, I think I named her Jasmine. I don't remember you. I'm gonna have to try to like link all these stories down below. And I do have to spend the time to put all of these stories in a playlist. But essentially JJ broke up with the girl and got with me. I was not necessarily friends with her. We were cool. We were cordial. Before I even got with him, I asked her, are you okay? Do you have a problem with me? You know, with me, Danny, JJ, she said, no. I started hearing all over the world that she had a problem with me. She want to fight me, this, that, and the third. She mad that I'm with JJ. Mind you, we're not friends. We're cordial. We're cool. I knew JJ way before I knew her. It wasn't one of those things where it's like, we were best friends or we were cool as hell. And then she started dating to do the night dating to do. Like literally we were cordial. We knew each other. She was dating him. He left her, started dating me. It wasn't even that close of a timeline. It could have been like a couple weeks later. Nonetheless, again, bitch, we not friends. I hear that she's talking shit. I ask her, I ask her, I ask her. She lies about it. Fast forward. All of a sudden, I get into all of these fights with all of these bitches for a bunch of shit. Then I'm getting jumped a day after I got into a fight. And then she fights me after that on, on top of it. So it was like, bro, like, you know what the fuck you was doing? Like, that was one of my only fights that I've ever lost. I've only lost two fights in my life, and that was one of them. How the fuck you get me jumped, and then you fight me the next day? You knew what you was doing. You knew I would have beat your ass. You know, that had to happen because, you know, hood politics and Jasmine was in their ear. You know, it's no hard feelings. You know, they not beefing with you or whatever. If I see them, I'm going to throw them on the train tracks. Luckily, that never happened, but I was like, mm hmm fuck your friends, though. Yo, one thing about me, I was ruthless back then. I'm still ruthless, but I'm a little bit more mindful of my ruthlessness. Back then, I was just like, yeah, you cool. It's whatever. She's like, yeah, nah, like, because you cool people's like, you cool people's like, they would have never did that. But, you know, so whatever. We were real, real cool. But um, I thought that that was the extent of it. I had a separate friendship with Kendra and Alexis, um, just like I had a separate friendship with everybody else. All of a sudden, I start seeing stuff on Facebook about Kendra going off about bitches better stay the fuck away from my nigga. If bitches don't stay away from my nigga, we're gonna have some fucking problems. I eat bitches for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I will make sure that girls that play with me pay for what they do. Just lots of shit. Women, I don't know nothing. What am I supposed to know? Like, I don't know nothing. I'm thinking she just talking. Like, because again, Kendra fights. Okay, she could have been talking about, she could have been talking about any other girl in the school. She, she could have been talking about her own damn mama. How am I supposed to know who she's talking about? So I ignore it. Now this shit goes on consistently. Like it, it goes on consistently. And mind you, I did have a class with Kendra. So I literally could have just asked her, but it would have been easier to ask her if she actually came to class. So Kendra never came to class. Um, but also that's not my business. I'm not, I'm not about to go up to her and be like, Hey girl, who you talking about again? I don't give a fuck. That's your business. Like, I'm just like, Oh damn. Mm, I don't know who Kendra talking about. So then, um, honestly, I didn't even know who her nigga was. Let me just, <laughs> let's just say that. Let's, Let's just get that out there. So honestly, I found out that her dude, I'm not even, oh, let me, let me, let's mix up the details. For this story time, we're going to mix up the details. OD. I'm going to mix up some things. I'm going to leave out a lot so that people don't identify who I'm talking about because I don't got no time. I press charges. That's all I got to say. We don't fight no more. We press charges. Um, so her dude ended up going to another one of the academies. Um, he was not all that, so I don't understand why she was doing all that. But from what I understand, okay, Kendra was with child. Okay, Kendra was with child, and she found out that um, her boyfriend was cheating on her with somebody at the school. She just didn't know who it was. 
So at this point, she's on a hunt to find out who her man cheated on her with. Are you guys following the story? Pity. Kunya. Women back on, oh yeah, I don't know nothing. What am I supposed to fucking know about who cheated on who, who, bitch? I'm just coming to class, dealing with my drama, doing my own shit. Like, I, I really don't know what is going on. So eventually, one of the days when she finally shows up to class, she's like, shorty. I'm like, yeah. She goes, um, you know anything about, what the fuck was this nigga name? We gonna have to give him a name. We gonna call him Chris. You know anything about Chris messing with anybody in the school? Mm, no. Now, again, people would always ask me stuff specifically because I knew everything. Um, because I was in every circle, okay? From the people that just came to America, to the jocks, to the people that literally were just like stuffed in the corner and no one talked to. I talked to everyone. Like literally at lunch, I went to every single table. So if you literally wanted to know about something, I more than likely would know it. It doesn't mean I would tell you, but I would probably know. Um, and I am a bad liar. So I was just like, no, I never heard anything about that. I was like, Chris, who's Chris? And she's like, oh, that's my man. I was like, oh, yeah, I don't know. I ain't nothing about Chris. So she's like, oh, okay. And she looking at me like I'm lying. And I'm like, okay, is that what you've been talking about on Facebook? And she's like, yeah. Um, I'm hearing that he messed with somebody in this school. I need to find out who it is. I need to find out who it is. Because one thing about me, one thing about me, what and that's what she said. One thing about me, one thing about me, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fighter bitch for real. I'm a fighter bitch for real. She gonna feel that shit. She gonna feel that shit. I don't know what she's mad at. I don't know who she's looking for. And she's just looking at me like I'm supposed to know what she's talking about. So I'm just like, yeah, can't blame you there. Don't mess with my man. Oh, we don't want to bring it to you. She's just looking at me like, yeah, so shorty, if you find out anything, you let me know. I'll let you know, Kendra. Of course, like I said, I'm friends with Alexis. I start walking around with Alexis. People still be making fun of her or whatever. But eventually, um, I feel like people kind of stopped bullying a girl. It was weird when it came to Alexis. Not only did people not like her because she was a hoe or whatever, people also bullied her just because they thought she was weird. They thought she looked weird. I felt like she was a very pretty woman. Um, I felt like she was a very pretty girl. I feel like she's definitely still very pretty. I still kept in contact with her, but whatever. A lot of people just would bully her. I feel like they were jealous of the girl, but hey, what do I know? Um, and one day I'm walking down the hall with Alexis and I just hear somebody like talking shit. And it's, it's Kendra with, with her group of friends. And all I hear is bitches be walking around fucking with bitches niggas like they won't get smacked. And then they be turning around acting that they still won't get smacked. So I'm the one, we both turned around and we're like, Nah, not you, shorty, not you. Whoever understands what I'm talking about, understand what I'm talking about. So I look at Alexis like, what is she talking about? And she's like, and she just starts laughing. And I'm just like, I can't protect you from Kendra. <laughs> like, I'm like, I don't know what's going on here. So now it starts clicking in my head. I said, hold up. This Chris dude, do you talk to him? You know what it is? She was like, I don't know who Chris is. I took her word for it. That's my friend. Why would my friend lie to me? That's why I had to start distancing myself from certain people because bitches fucking lie and they lie and they lie. Okay, so whatever. This shit just, it, it, it starts mounting up. So it went from her asking me, to every time I'm with her, she's taunting her, to now, like, she would basically physically come up to me every time I'm with her. So now it's becoming, hey, shorty. Have you found out anything about Chris yet? Cause you know, I be hearing shit about hoes out here, you know, hoes by the name of Alexis, that be, you know, fucking on bitches niggas you know I just, so i'm just sitting here like <laughs> she talk on side i see like this i said hmm. no kendra again she's looking at me 
as if I know because clearly I'm always with Alexis. This is why you gotta be careful about who you be friends with. That's why as I got older, I'm like, yeah. Um, that's why that whole idea of, oh, don't judge me, don't judge others, da 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 But I also don't believe in the whole who you run with is who you are or you become who you run with because I've never been a hoe. Um, I've never been a drug dealer. I've never been any of the things of the people that I have run with. Like, I'm from the hood. I'm going to have different types of people in my circle. But that was crazy, bro. Almost got my ass beat by Kendra, bro. I, I ain't gonna lie, I was like, wait, um, I ain't going down with you for this. I I had a very peaceful sophomore year up until that point, okay? So at this point, I'm like, okay, I need to go run an investigation. I need to find out who the fuck Chris is. I need to go find out why um, it looks like she's blaming Alexis for sucking his dick or some shit. So, oh yeah, I forgot to tell y'all that's what it was. I don't think they actually had sex. If I understand correctly, she was just consistently sucking his dick. And um, Kendra was very upset by this, okay? Um, rightfully so, because again, she was expecting child. Now, let me just say, I don't know nothing about the expecting child at the time. I don't know nothing about that. Um, so basically I hit up a lot of my other um, American friends. Um, and I was like, yo, do y'all know anything about, uh, Alexis and Chris and blah, blah, blah. And da, da, da. she's like, um, one of my friends was like, girl, you ain't know? know what oh man alexis and chris been fucking for months don't tell kendra though kendra on a rampage she really trying to find out if it's alexis or not but you know ain't nobody trying to see her get trampled on i mean we don't like her but we all know alexis can't fight this can't be correct because if this is correct that bitch gonna get wrecked so i literally asked i swear to god at least five different people they all say the same thing. Oh, girl, you late. Everybody know that. You know, we just don't want Kendra to find out. So, you know, Kendra don't fuck this bitch up. So she don't flatten her like a pizza. Oh, I go and I ask Alexis. Alexis, I'm gonna ask you something and I need you to be honest with me. And one thing about me, I hate a liar, I hate a liar, I hate a liar. If you lie to my face, I will more than likely never talk to you again. I said, Alexis, <sighs> I asked you about this Chris situation. You gave me an answer. However, I do not believe the answer is satisfactory. Have you messed with this Chris? Do you know about this Chris? Uh, whatever. To be honest with you, I can't even quote word for word the story that she told me about this Chris. But she told me some convoluted bullshit. It was something along the lines of, yeah, I know Chris. That was my boyfriend. But we've been working on rekindling things. We were messing around. But, you know, that stopped as soon as I came here. Again, that's my friend. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna question her on it. Why would she lie? Especially the second time. Uh, when I'm telling y'all this whole situation happened across like maybe four months, bro. So almost like half the school year, like this whole shit was just brewing. So one thing about Elizabeth High School that's always been terrifying to me is how bad shit gets when it gets hot. You could have beef with somebody in September, but just because it starts to get cold in November, you just hold off on that beef till it starts getting warm in April. That's literally what happened. Like literally from break to all of that, it kind of just simmered down. Like you didn't hear nothing. I ain't hear nothing about nothing until it started to get warm. I thought this whole shit was over with. <laughs> like I'm thinking like, okay, like now the timeline, if I'm not mistaken, um, don't quote me on it, but I believe that Alexis came into the school in like November and then, um, Kendra came in like a few weeks after that or maybe a month or so after that. So like right before Christmas break, it was cold and went a little out. So like for like two months, I ain't hear nothing about it. By the time it started to get warm in like March, April, I started hearing about this shit again. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Like, I thought we were done with this shit. Like I thought the shit was solved. So now Kendra comes back to me and she's like, so shorty, tell me if I got this correct. I said, let me know what was good. Oh, I got a divorce. So let me know if you got a man and that man's supposed to be committed to you, right? Like y'all together, y'all thing, y'all together. And he cheats on you. And he says that all he did was let us suck his dick. And you find out that that's not to be true. But then he tells you that uh, she was the one that was begging to do more and she keep coming back for more. Am I not within my rights to beat her ass? 
again. I thought this shit was over. I did not think that this was about Alexis. So I'm like, mm, I mean, I guess. But see, at this point in time, it, with all my maturity and all of my experience, I'll be like, no, you take that shit up with your nigga, that bitch don't owe you no loyalty, it is what it is. Then it could be telling you anything. And, uh, but at the time, I'm like, nah, be her ass. Because, of course, she knows that he has a girlfriend. <laughs> so, she's like, all right, just check in. So, how's your friend Alexis doing? I said, oh, I mean, she fine. Why? Just wondering. So, you know she been messing with Chris, right? So, I'm like, um, I heard something about that months ago, but I don't necessarily know if it's really true. Oh, it's true. It's true. And I'm going to be her ass. No, 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 Kendra, Kendra. No, 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 no. I gave that bitch chance that she keep fucking on my nigga. Mind you, we're in class. She keep fucking on my nigga. She keep fucking on my nigga. She keep fucking. Woo! Get down. Kendra. Kendra. What? I thought that this was handled months ago. Oh, so you knew. So you know, and you ain't tell me that your friend was fucking on my nigga. I thought we was friends. I thought we was, I was like, ah. First of all, when I found out, it had already died down. Thus, me thinking that this was solved. And um, on top of that, it's one of those things where she told me that that was basically her boyfriend and they were together and they were messing around. What? We should tell you that. Nah, that don't make sense. I've been with Chris for over two know, years. Kendra. How the Kendra, fuck she I gonna tell no you idea. that Kendra. she Kendra. was messing with Chris and that's her ex boyfriend I've been with for two years. Two I don't years. Know. I don't know. That's what she said. This was months ago. I let it go. You let it go. You let it go, but you ain't tell me. So at this point, I'm just trying to look at her like, yeah, I get what you're coming from. Like, I get what you're coming from. But at the same time, this was kind of um, all around the school, school gossip. I thought it was, again, handled. She's like, nah, I'm gonna handle it. I'm gonna handle it. I'm gonna handle it. Now, Kendra, one thing about her, the reason she always won her fights and whatever the fuck, all her battles is because she was very strategic with it. Um, So I knew whatever the fuck she was gonna handle, it was gonna be handled. And I was not going to be able to handle it for Alexis, okay? So, at this point, I tell Alexis what happened. And Alexis is like, <laughs> I'm not worried. Last time I checked, you fight like a gazelle. You should be worried. <laughs> Bitch, this is not a Disney playbook. You need to get your hands right. So, I'm sitting here looking at her like, I have no idea why you're not worried about this. I have no idea why you're not more concerned. I have no idea. Like, I'm not telling you to be afraid. I'm not telling like, it's just, you should be a little bit more concerned. You should try to hash this out. If you didn't do anything wrong, you should at least go try to hash this out before she flattens you like a fucking panini. And she's like, no, well... I don't have to say anything to her because she's already on 10 and I ain't got nothing to say to her. What do you want me to say? I tried y'all, I really did. So at this point, it becomes apparent that um, Kendra is, she wants her head. And by like the next week, everybody's talking about how Kendra's gonna beat up Alexis. Kendra's gonna beat up Alexis. Kendra's gonna beat up Alexis. All of a sudden, Alexis acting scared. It's basically nowhere to be found. I'm honestly thinking that the bitch fucking transferred. I couldn't skip lunch because the bitch was hungry, okay? We all fucking hungry as growing teenagers. So eventually I see her at lunch. I mean, I feel like the timeline was definitely shorter. She probably went hiding for three days, but it felt like three weeks because weird, like she literally went into hiding. And that school was big. One thing about like Dwyer Halsey, it's a very big school. and when and all the students are in the hallways you really cannot see um so if you really want to hide you can hide but there's certain places you can't hide like lunch um and you can't take other people's lunches if you have sixth seventh or eighth period lunch you have to go to your designated lunch and i don't know yeah no we did have the same lunch so um i saw her finally at lunch i'm like yo where the fuck you been at and she's like this is her y'all this i'll be here I just been laying low. Yeah, don't worry. I'm, I'm not. I'm not even worried. I'm not even worried. Like 
you gotta be fucking kidding me, bro. Like, mind you, like, I'm, yo, she literally had her scarf on her head like it was a freaking hijab. Like, she literally, <laughs> oh my God, I'm just like, okay. Um, sis, you can run, but you can't hide. The school's only but so big and eventually she's gonna catch you. Um, so I don't know what to tell you. I really feel like you should go talk to her and tell her that all this is a misunderstanding. But, um, she couldn't. You know why? Because it wasn't a misunderstanding. She really was fucking on Chris. She really was out here having sex with him the entire time while he was dating Kendra. And Kendra was with child. And this infuriated Kendra because from what I understand, Chris was consistently telling her that he had a girlfriend, but you know, they still continued to do what they did. And, um, and Alexis just didn't care. Alexis would be like, oh, I don't care if you have a girlfriend, blah, 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 that's not my business. And apparently that's an MO that uh, Alexis would have. She'd be like, I don't care if you have a nigga, what that gotta do with me. Like, that's how she was, apparently. That's what the people told me in the streets. I don't know, I don't be in the bed with her. She was just cool to me. I don't have time, I ain't wanna hear the details. But that's what I heard. Mixing two of the stories together from what she told me and what Kendra told me, that seems to be what happened. So I'm just looking at her like, first of all, you lied to me. Um, so I don't like that I'm finding this out now. And she's really just like fixing her, like, and she's trying to be like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like she's kind of trying to like brush me off on some, mm, yeah, well, it's not that big of a deal. It's like, bitch, it is that big of a deal because nigga, I'm sitting here trying to defend your ass. And yo, there's a constant theme in my life of me defending people and them just like not giving a fuck. Um, so I'm just like, all right, well, the most I could do is try to talk to her again, but I don't know what to tell you. So whatever, I go try to talk to Kendra. Kendra says she gonna lay off of it. It's whatever, she cool, she don't give a fuck. So I told her, I was like, you know what? Kendra say she cool, she don't give a fuck. However, I don't know how much I believe her because the girl goes zero to 100 extremely quick. Whether she's cool or not, um, I do suggest that uh, you keep your guard up, you get some of your cousins down here after school, something. I missed school, something happened. I don't know what it was. Either I had a class trip and I missed half the school day or I missed the whole school day, I don't know. All I know is I remember coming back into the building. Like sometime at the end of the day, like on some like eighth, ninth period shit. Yes, we had 10 periods, guys. Cause we were there from 7.30 to 3.56 at the time. These kids living great now, okay? They get out like 2.30. Um, so we come back from this trip. I know, so, I, like that's the thing. I, I don't vividly remember if I just found out late in the day or if I just wasn't there. But nonetheless, it's the end of the day. All I see is people running. Like just crowds of people just running. And I'm like, what the fuck? And the only time that happens is when there's a fight. Um, there was always fights in my high school, so I'm like, what the fuck happened? All I hear is, Kendra beat the shit out of Alexis. Kendra beat the shit out of Alexis. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, like, beat that bitch. Yeah, she a hoe, she a hoe. I'm like. So at this point, I'm trying to find Alexis. I'm going to the principal's office. I don't see nobody. I'm asking people where she at, where's Kendra. Kendra's doing the most in the in the office. She's like, get the fuck off me, get the, like the security guards is trying to, get the fuck off me, get the fuck off me. But I don't see, Alexis done ran the fuck out the building. Okay, she ran home, I don't know what the fuck. Like she got her ass beat somewhere on the courtyard from what I'm hearing. She ran back into the building, back home. So the courtyard was in the middle of the school, but you can't get out. If that makes sense. So it's an outdoor space. It's the middle of two schools, but you can't go outside of the outside. It's outside, but it's not necessarily facing the outside world. So you have to go back into school to go back through another door to actually go back outside. So that's what she did. She got beat up and she just ran out. I'm hearing this shit. I'm just like, and I'm hearing the ass open was an ass open. I'm hearing her eyes swollen, her lips swollen, her face cut up. And I'm like, whoa. Okay, um, I thought Kendra let this shit go. <laughs> like, I mean, but I mean, let's be real. I, I clearly knew she wasn't. Um, I mean, I clearly knew she wasn't. Like, I don't know what, you know, thank God I didn't get blamed for it by other people. Um, Cause I know people would've been like, oh, where the fuck was Shorty at? Shorty always with her, but no. Niggas knew I was on trip. But you know who did blame me? The bitch that I warned not to lie. The bitch that I said to go talk to the girl that be her ass. AKA Alexis. Why Alexis gonna come to me also? Why didn't you tell me that she was gonna do all of that? Why weren't you there to fight with me? Whoa. 
Whoa. Whoa. Fight with you, you're fucking crazy. One thing about me, I'm not gonna fight no big bird ass bitch like Kendra. I would never fight a fucking Kendra. Kendra's literally twice my size. On top of that, me and Kendra are cool. On top of that, you the wrong one. When you do fuck shit, you handle and answer for your own fuck shit. Don't be dragging other people into it. I tried to help you. I tried to get you to come clean. I tried to get you to talk to her and you didn't fucking do it. And then I was on a class trip. I didn't know she was gonna do that shit. She knew what she was doing. She waited till I wasn't around and then she attacked her. I mean, I, I figured that out at the end, but it's just like, it is what it is. You shouldn't be fucking on other people's niggas. Like, <laughs> it is what, like, I, I don't know what to tell you. You know, so she gets upset. Um, we, we, again, like, we're actually cool to this day. Like, we're not, like, the best of friends or anything like that. But it was just like, bro, how the fuck you gonna blame me and get mad at me because I wasn't there to help you get your ass beat? Bitch, I would got my ass beat, too. I would have lost three fights in life after that one. And I ain't gonna get three strikes at that point you out. Mm. So I said, nah, bro, uh, my fighting days would have been over at that point, nah, my reputation, my street cred, oh no, uh, I was like, yeah, I'm not fighting nobody, Kendra, and Kendra would, I mean, that's the thing that's really crazy about it is Kendra was bigger than, yeah, Kendra was actually way bigger than Alexis too, but Alexis had a little bit more height than me, she was probably like 5'3", but Kendra's a big bitch, and Kendra beat that girl ass while pregnant, like, that's when I found out she was pregnant when niggas was telling me, like, yeah, and you know Kendra pregnant too. I said, whoa. Pregnant, yeah, she beat that bitch up with a baby in her. I said, Jesus, you know what? On that note, it's time for me to go. <laughs> I was like, yo, this is crazy. So, um, yeah, of course, eventually that's what got uh, Kendra kicked out. Alexis never came back. Yeah. It was crazy. So I lost two of my really good friends. Like, they were really nice. Okay, I'm not going to say really good friends. They were just cool. Like, I, I can't even say they were really good friends. It's just a very funny story because I'm like, why the fuck am I always getting blamed for shit? Like, why am I always the one that, like, I got to be there? Like, nigga, I was on a fucking class trip. You wanted me to, like, not go on my class trip to help you get your ass beat because that's all I would have been able to do. <laughs> Bitch, I'm protecting my face. That's the only thing I'm doing because I'm not fighting no big ass Kendra. <laughs> hey, Bigfoot Big. Okay, Bigfoot Big. That I can't even tell you the height. The height was Bigfoot Big, and I was not about to go against that. Okay. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think about this story time. Let me know. Like, what, what could I have done differently? Because personally, I don't know what I did wrong. Like, she really was mad at me for, like, a, a grip about that shit. Like, she ran around talking hella shit. It's like, I don't give a fuck. That's why you got your ass because you was out here fucking on bitches niggas. Anyways, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. Please smash the like button. Check the description box for my clothing subscription service. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!